For many years, the Edgar weapon was believed to be some kind of spear, and in the Wikipedia article about this weapon it says, an Edgar, sometimes called a male piercer or hewing spear, was a type of polearm in use in Viking Age Scandinavia and Norse colonies in the British Isles and Iceland. The word is related to the old Norse gare, meaning spear. Even Professor Jackson Crawford, one of the world's leading Viking linguists, thought this for a long time. Words for spear include spjot, gear, and many others, including the specialized at gear, which is something like a halberd with a stabbing and slicing blade. Not much notice or effort has been given to this weapon and it has been tucked away as uninteresting and unimportant. Until now. This changes everything. This new discovery changes everything. We're going to have to start throwing these out and just start all over again from scratch. According to traditional historical accounts, gunpowder was invented or discovered in China during the 9th century and for several hundred years remained limited to China until traders, most likely Mongol traders, brought it to Europe along the Silk Road. By the mid-1300s, well-documented sources indicate that gunpowder was commonly used in European warfare, with the first recorded time being the Battle of Cressy, in 1346. The first use was with cannons, and later with handheld firearms used by individual soldiers. However, recent historical findings suggest that the discovery of gunpowder may have been made independently and before it came to Europe, by Viking settlers in Iceland, shedding new light on the development of this technology across the world. Because, there is a story in the Icelandic sagas that appears to describe the invention of gunpowder in Iceland between 800 and 1000 AD. The saga portrays a young man, from a humble background who attains mastery in weaponsmiting and is credited with constructing a formidable weapon called the Edgar, which is referenced multiple times, but not adequately described in the sagas, until now. Jackson Crawford, while studying the archives in Iceland with Professor Thor Gerson, stumbled upon a leaf from an earlier manuscript that was serving as a binding for a later manuscript. This leaf contained a detailed description of the Edgar, a handheld weapon that spews a hazardous flame, resulting from the presence of sorter's dust. The discovered leaf belonged to a book meant for educating young noblemen, and on one side was printed a description of the enigmatic weapon, known as the Edgar. Despite the term's frequent use in the sagas, it has never been accurately translated, but it is understood to refer to a type of weapon that bears some resemblance to a spear in Old Norse. The new mention of the Edgar was found in the Icelandic saga, Friedrich Four Fingers. It says, a young man of poor upbringing, attains new respect in his society, by becoming a master weaponsmith. In particular, it is said he is the master builder of the mysterious powerful weapon known as the Edgar. The part in the text that was the most interesting to the experts was the following. It's called an Edgar, in which a man holds in his hand and places fire into, and because of the nature of the dust within it, which is called sorter's dust, the Edgar spits a flame, very dangerous, demanding, and very long-reaching. So, was the Edgar really an early firearm? All of the necessary elements for gunpowder were present in Iceland, including charcoal, sulfur, and saltpeter or nitrates. Sulfur, which is a vital component of gunpowder, was found abundantly on Iceland due to the island's volcanic activity, with sulfuric vents present throughout the region. The only missing component, saltpeter or nitrates, was discovered in an unlikely source, Arctic sharks. The blood of Arctic sharks contains high levels of ammonia and nitrates, which are necessary for the sharks to survive in the extreme conditions of their habitat. The Icelanders found that by fermenting the dead sharks for approximately six months, the ammonia could be separated from the remaining meat, which is known as hekarl, is edible and it's a famous dish in Iceland. This fermentation process gave them access to the necessary nitrates to create gunpowder, which the Icelandic settler Friedrich Four Fingers unintentionally discovered 
when he combined the elements in the correct ratios, resulting in an explosive reaction that reportedly blew off one of his fingers. Holy smokes! This unique discovery sheds light on the resourcefulness and ingenuity of Icelandic settlers in utilizing their natural resources to create innovative solutions. The team in Reykjavik were experts in different fields from all over the world, including Viking historians, weapons experts, linguists and other, came together to unravel the mystery around a gear. Detective Greg Jones is an expert on gunshot wounds, fatal and non-fatal, and while in Norway he was introduced to a Norwegian military forensic pathologist, who told him that he had examined several bodies from the Viking era, that exhibited the pathology of gunshot wounds. He says, That was mystifying to both of us as far as we knew, firearms did not exist in Northern Europe at that time. Independent carbon dating of the remains performed at our lab, confirmed that the individual died approximately 1030 AD. The wound had received some care and had begun to show signs of healing, before the person's passing, indicating that they had managed to survive the initial injury. However, their demise occurred within a few weeks, probably due to the infection that had spread from the wound. Jackson Crawford continues, We already knew that the Aguirre was some kind of very special weapon, based just on who uses it. The most famous man to bear an Aguirre is in Neil's saga. Gunnar has a particular singing at Gare, and the singing is represented as something magical in the saga, which he had ordered enchanted with dark magic, so that no weapon could kill him, except for it. The enchantment was also said to cause men to know right away when the weapon was used to kill someone, because the weapon would sing before it killed, so that it was heard far away. I thought that it might be good to see if there was a cognate in Old English, and in fact there is a cognate at Gar. Uh, which pops up in the Battle of Molden, which is a very famous text from the 10th century. Um, and it's only in one line, which is Thar stored Alvere Atgare Yedalvode, which means there stood, or then stood Alvere, deafened by an Atgar, or Atgar deafened. Armin Jacobson says that this startling new discovery will have a lot of implications for Old Norse studies, and admits that. I've never really understood how Gunnar manages to kill all these people, but of course, it makes more sense if the upgrade is a machine that uses gunpowder. And in a way, it also helps us to understand his friendship with a sage. It would make sense for a hero to have a firm alliance with an inventor, a scientist who is viewed as a magician in the Middle Ages because he understands gunpowder. There's also a mention of the weapon in Edda's saga. Guthrun, laughing, gave her sons the treasures of kings, which she kept in her room. She brought her sons, long coats of chainmail, long at gears. They boldly sat themselves in the saddles. Ian McCullen, over at the YouTube channel Forgotten Weapons, built a reproduction of the gun. It's a small iron barrel, attached to a wooden wand, and McCullen believes that the Vikings used small rounded rocks as projectiles. It works on the same principles as the first firing weapons used in Europe. However, in Europe the gunpowder was first used in cannons in order to break down castle walls, and weapons for individual use was invented later. The Vikings went in the opposite direction, inventing the individual gun first. McCullen test-fired the gun, and it worked perfectly. Here we go. You cleared the range, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, oh, is that a sheep? Cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. All the experts involved in studying the Edgar concur. This was a firing weapon, made a long time before gunpowder was brought to Europe in the 13th century, meaning that the Vikings actually invented gunpowder. And I've been just astonished to see the results of Ian McCollum's recreation of the weapon. This changes everything. This new discovery changes everything. We're going to have to start throwing these out and just start all over again from scratch. What, is what an incredible discovery. 
The experts have spoken, and it turns out that the Edgar was actually a firing weapon created by the Vikings. This means that both the Chinese and the Vikings invented the gunpowder, independently of each other, around the same time. As a historian, I have to say that this is the most significant Viking discovery that I have ever encountered in my life. It just goes to show the resourcefulness and creativity of our forefathers, and it's a reminder that we should never underestimate their ingenuity. This was an April Fool's joke by esteemed Professor Jackson Crawford and his colleagues, and I fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Did you? There is a link to the original video in the description below. Remember to subscribe and hit that like button for more Viking videos. And I hope to see you in the next one.